beep, 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 morning, tis I. I've had a chat this morning, there's nothing going on. Time living, I had a load of sound problems with stuff I've been doing lately, because they've been doing things. <laughs> it makes noise, but it goes on all day. So, you know, years ago we had scaffolders, and they walked by every 25 minutes. And then, you know, I ended up giving them tea and sandwiches at one point. But there's always something going on, see? So you get lots of noise in town, can't be helped. Sorry, just can't be helped. Um, so what have I got for you today? Well, mm, yes, let's go. <laughs> um, I found some really stupid people. I'm not the only one that's found them. So I don't know whether you've seen it yet, but this is up there with the lunacy that we've all come used to, used to, we're used to seeing and having to deal with on a regular basis. This is right up there. Okay, now it's been reported on the BBC News website. And Auntie is never one for telling the truth lately. So let's just have a look at what Auntie's had to say about this. And then we'll talk about the reality of the situation, which I think will be interesting. So what it's all about is um, Eurovision 2023. Now, gays love Eurovision. I've said this before, they do. I can't stand it. What a nonsense. It's up there with everything else that's nonsense, like Christmas. Right? So <coughs> Eurovision 2023. Ireland's wild youth cut ties with creative, direct, creative director after transgender posts. What's a transgender post? Is it pretended to be something else? A transgender post. Right, okay, well, that's what it says. And then it says, Wild Youth have previously toured with Niall Horan, don't know who that is, and Louis Capaldi, don't know who that is, and were chosen to represent Ireland in February. Right? Now, there's a picture of these people on... <laughs> The BBC website, right? Called Wild Youth. I think they're pushing it, but you have a look. <laughs> Wild Youth. I think they're going to have to change their name. Mildly discomforted middle aged men. <laughs> ah. Ireland's Eurovision Act, Wild Youth have cut ties with their creative director over comments made. Screen grabs circulated on Twitter, oh, they did, of Ian Bannum's account referring to transgender women as men in posts. And the Irish band say they stand for unity and kindness. Apparently one of them has got be kind tattooed on the leg on their legs. <laughs> oh what be kind tattooed on the legs. Mr. Ballam's representative have been contacted by the C but the BBC, but they have made no comment. With just two weeks until this year's song contest begins, oh, the sooner it begins, the sooner it can end, it is quite late for any artist to change their creative team as rehearsals begin in Liverpool next week. Wild Youth frontman Connor O'Donoghue said he felt sick reading the tweets. You wait till you get up in front of all those people and billions of people are watching around the world. You'll feel sick then, boy. Feel, felt sick reading the tweets and apologised to those hurt by those remarks. Right? Um, he had said, first off... I want to apologise with my whole heart to anyone who's been hurt or even had to read such horrible tweets. Nobody's been hurt by a tweet, you twat, right? Um, such horrible tweets. It goes against everything I stand for. His tweets made me feel sick reading them. Writing this song and writing these lyrics was writing about what I believe. Wild Youth is a band that stands for unity and kindness. Our song represents our beliefs as a band. We have cut all ties with Ian Bannum and will not have him on our near, or near our team on Eurovision Journey. We are so sorry for anyone offended by his comments. Right, OK. So, according to his website, Mr Bannum has worked in the past with stars including Kylie Minogue, Cheryl and Lily Allen. I know Kylie Minogue is and I know Lily Allen is. I've no idea who Cheryl is. He was also the choreographer for the most recent series of Ireland's version of Strictly, Dancing with the Stars Ireland. The Irish broadcaster, RTE, told BBC News, Ian Bannum is no longer a member of Ireland's Eurovision 2023 team. RTE won't be making any further comment. Wild Youth will compete in the first semi-final of next month's competition, which will take place on Tuesday night of May, with their song, We Are One. Well, you are certainly one, guys. We are one, guys. You know. I love it. It's just great. The King of Queens concert will unveil this year's Eurovision stage. Nobody cares. Um, the acts from the 37 countries taking part, blah, blah, etc. Right? Okay, so that's the nonsense they're peddling, right? Oh, isn't that wonderful? I just sweeten it. There they are sticking up for the, for the, for the trans woman. What lovely, what lovely men they are. <clears throat> and I say men, if you look at them, and they want to reach out to people and be kind. 
from the look of them in this picture, I would say it's more likely that they'll be reaching out for the Gaviscon. <laughs> Wild youth. Yeah, in your dreams. Unfortunately, the person that this Ian Ballam correctly sexed is called Zara Jade, who was jailed after stabbing and tying up a victim in Halifax. A transgender woman who stabbed her vulnerable victim before tying her to a chair and demanding cash has been jailed. Zara Jade, 54, attacked her victim at Halifax flat last year and left her tied up when she went to an ATM. Jade admitted offences of wounding with intent to do grievous bodily harm, robbery, fraud and false imprisonment at Bradford Grand Court and was jailed for nine years with an extended licence period of three years. And these twits at Wild Youth are upset because there's somebody they know misgendered them. So let's be absolutely clear what Wild Youth have done in their, in their, in their be kind on the thighs. Be kind. Was it thighs or shins? I think it was the thighs. Like, be kind on your thighs. Always <laughs> going through his head. I imagine a large dose of alcohol. I know, lads. It's Saturday night. Let's go and get be kind tattooed on my thighs. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Right. So what they've done is they've seen that Ian Bannum... I wonder if there was any other disagreement between them that made this happen. You know, was there something else going on that we don't know about, possibly? From Ian Bannum saying, you know, it's a bloke, sharp, right? It's a man. Which, of course, is true. It is a man. And they've decided that they would rather throw somebody they've known for a while who is a friend under the bus for a bloke who, who tied up a woman, threatened her with a knife, falsely imprisoned her and took her money and stand by that bloke being seen as a woman than they would somebody they're working with. And they're going to represent Ireland at Eurovision. What? You imagine people with moral standards that low are representing Ireland. Moral standards so low, they have to write them on their thighs. Just blow the box short. <laughs> it's just madness. Madness, right? Um, I've been blocked immediately, but I asked all sorts of questions of the Eurovision people and they blocked me. I imagine they're going around now blocking other people. We're going to do what all of this said. Oh no, we look so foolish. You do look foolish. You do look foolish. And them having a voice in Ireland where they can espouse their morally bankrupt ideas about what is and is not right or wrong means that they should not be held up in any way by anyone to anyone. And it's important that they are exposed for what they are. Misogynists and believers in unreality who will quite happily throw anybody under the bus if it makes them look virtuous. I think they might be in for a shock. I think it might be in for a shock when, when, when this sort of thing comes out and the Irish people go, they said what? About who? But that could just be me. You go and have a look and tell me what you think. Links to both the articles, the BBC who failed to mention who it was that was misgendered. Well done, Auntie Beeb there. You've got an ology. You're just nonsense merchants, right? And then the other article, which is about actually about this dangerous man calling himself Zara. So go and have a look. I'll leave it to you, all right? Thanks so much for watching. See you later.